Good morning, Crusaders. I'm Jack Kelly. And I'm Sierra Coronado. Today is Tuesday, November 5th, B-Day, and here's what you need to know. Our lunch today is a breaded chicken sandwich, french fries, a veggie cup, fruit or hot ham and cheese on a pretzel roll. Hey, Sierra. There are plenty of families that might not know a whole lot about Lancaster Catholic. I know. I wish there was a way for them to find out what they're going to be doing for the next four years. Luckily, we have an open house this Sunday, 1 to 3 p.m. If you or someone you know would like to know what happens here at LCHS or just get to know some new people, come join us. Also, for many of us, this is a chance to show off our school to those who are looking for a fantastic place to attend. On a different note, there is a bus trip to New York City on Sunday, December 8th to support the athletic department. It costs $75 to go on the trip. To find out more information, check your email for the trip form. The Varsity Club is selling Christmas greens, poinsettias, cacti, and wreaths from Stafford's of Kissel Hill. All funds that are raised will be used to provide Christmas gifts and foods for needy local families. I heard the sale will run through November 13th. Orders will be available to pick up in student commons at the end of the day on December 4th. Yep, paper order forms are available at the faculty mailboxes. You may return your order form and check to Miss De Delia. Also on the topic of Christmas, we have a breakfast with Santa coming up in early December. Lancaster Catholic is known for its creative juices in the fine and performing arts. led by Mrs. Leonard and Mrs. Ulrich. Lancaster Catholic's very own artistic cast has put together a never before seen once in a lifetime spectacle. <laughs> Lancaster Catholic is proud to introduce the perfectly fine and finely perfected, the play. That goes wrong. No, really. <laughs> the fall play is underway and ready to roll. Come see us Friday, November 15th, or catch the show on Saturday, November the 16th. You can buy the tickets on Curate for $10 or scan the QR code on screen. Ciara, did you know there are other classes that Mr. Stoltzfus teaches where they are creating content for this show? Of course, I took the DV class last year, and now I'm here on the broadcasting team. Smile, you're on camera at LCHS. Aside from the broadcasting team, Mr. Stoltzfus in room 109 teaches two digital video media production electives. In this elective, students can learn all about filming and editing, all while collecting footage for the morning show. This footage is what we call B-roll. It contains all the clips of Life as a Crusader. These students can film at sports, clubs, practices, classes, and even in the hallways in order to show all people what the LCHS community offers. And if you're interested in being part of the morning show team, this class is the required prerequis prerequisite. With that being said, don't worry if you see someone filming and don't be afraid to show your happy face. That's really cool. Did you know that the United States Fire Department responds to about 1,160 cooking fires on Thanksgiving? We all know firefighting is a very dangerous job. However, many firefighters do their work for no pay. A few students at Lancaster Catholic volunteer at their local fire departments to learn what it takes to do this courageous work. We interviewed Seth Wickenheiser of the Columbia Fire Department to see why he became a volunteer firefighter. I just found uh, helping others was the best way to get back to the community. I always liked helping people. So that's why I became a firefighter. Biggest event um, was down or over in uh, Manchester County. We had a uh, building dwelling. It was a business with uh, cardboard boxes and sticks. Uh, we got there around six and came back around sort of five and six. Firefighting seems like a great job to learn responsibility and how to work as a team. Thank you to all our first responders who help our communities every day. How's it going, Crusaders? We have a very eventful week of sports ahead of us. The football team is moving on to the district championship this Friday after a win at home over Camp Hill. Her hometown hero, Ethan Shank, had two interceptions to seal the deal, winning 27-20. Be sure to pop out this Friday to Donegal High School at 7 p.m. to support the boys in their fight for the district championship. Also, congratulations to our boys' soccer team for winning districts 2-0 against Trinity. Great job, boys. Coming up are cheerleading tryouts. Girls, you can join a cheer squad that's all hearts and laughs. We are all about welcoming new faces. This is a team that feels like a family. You'll find a lively crew ready to stunt, tumble, and cheer together, making lifelong friendships and unforgettable memories this winter. 
All the girls on the squad have like a really good connection with each other and like we're all really good friends. I really enjoy the friendships you make and the community you build and hanging out with people you love. Just do it. You have nothing to lose. Um, it's so much fun and you it's such a learning experience. I think the basketball games are going to be really fun being able to cheer at them. You heard it here first. Try out for LCH cheer. Up for basketball cheer tryouts by November 8th through the link in LCHS Crusader Cheers bio. Mandatory clinics and tryouts are next week. Be sure to check out Instagram for more details. The cheer team can't wait to welcome you. No experience is needed. Just bring your smile and spirit. We have a lot of student athletes balancing school and sports, which can be a challenge with all the workload and long practices we have. Juggling all those things can be hard all at once. And there needs to be a balance between both, as we all know the students and student athlete comes first, which means schoolwork, tests, and quizzes come before the extracurricular. Any sport or activity you do probably means a lot to you and you enjoy doing it, but it's a lot of hard work and time outside of your sport. So any time you don't have schoolwork to do, you should be practicing. With that being said, we have to keep our heads up and our grades up so we continue to do the activities we love. Thanks, Sydney. I hope everyone is excited and hungry because there are 21 days until Thanksgiving break. And only 47 days till Christmas break. Have, have a, a great, great day, day Crusaders. Crusaders.